I want to switch it up here and, and I want to ask you, what is your belief in God? Do you believe in God? And what is your definition of God if you do believe in God? First and foremost, I love the way that we humans like to take the infinite and try to constrict it into something more manageable for us, right? Um, I actually follow a concept that I call the purple brick theory. I was raised quite a conservative Christian household, but a lot of the stuff didn't make sense to me. And that's because my personal belief following years of study, and I mean, I actually went and went full in, like I went and I was doing Shabbat every week with Jewish families to understand the religion and understand the Torah and the construction of the Torah, and the construction of the religion. I did a Ramadan and did like prayed five times a day for six months and went to wow. mosque with Muslims and learned how to read and transliterate Arabic so that I can understand Islam to see what is it that, why is this person saying that they're right and everyone else is wrong? I went and studied ancient cultures um, shamanism from different parts of the Americas, going deep and understanding Aboriginal dream time stories, Zoroastrianism and these other small uh, Baha'i and all these really small um, uh, followers, uh, religions with small followings to understand how is it that, because I, I don't think it's possible that everybody can be right. <laughs> but actually what I found is it's possible that they can all be right because what I found was that if we take away blatant man manipulation by by people i mean if we look at the bible the bible as it is today was put together as a convenient narrative it excludes things that were written that don't really meet that narrative if you go and mm. read the gospel of mary magdalene the gospel of thomas pe books that were written by people that actually hung out with jesus versus the gospels the youngest of which is 70 years after the passing of christ a second and third and fourth hand accounts and yet first hand accounts were left out why because it didn't meet the narrative so when we, we strip away these things and take everything to its root, everybody's looking at the same thing. And you're going to say, how does Hinduism look at the same thing as Christianity? Well, in Hinduism, if you look at the, the attributes that are given to what we would call universe in Hinduism, yeah. that's exactly what we'd give to the Judeo-Christian concept of God. When we look at the idea of the gods in Hinduism, they're actually just manifestations and expressions of source energy. So... If we go then into Revelation in the Bible, for example, and start looking at things like the four and 20 elders and angels and stuff like that, these are all, again, agents and manifestations and expressions of what we might call God. So if we go into the great spirit, you know, go and sit with a, a Native American and talk about the great spirit, you're going to see exactly the same omnipotence, omniscience, omnipresence, the same concept. If we then go into science and start looking at energy, energy is everywhere and is in everything and does have an intelligence so again even science is looking at the same thing so that's why i call it the purple brick theory everyone's looking at the same thing and i believe that that which we call god expresses itself over time in a manner that the people who are engaging with it can understand and can relate to and that's created difference especially in a world that's becoming more globalized but i think if we're prepared to let go of the differences and come together on those similarities those common grounds that we all have then there'd be a lot less conflict and people will probably just get along. Mm. Can you expand on that idea of the purple brick theory? Sure. And yeah, what, what do you mean by the purple brick theory? In so much as that, I believe that the thing that we call God is the, is the purple brick, right? I use the color purple because it's nobody's purple colored <laughs> so if i call it a black brick or white brick or gray brick someone might get offended so i just use purple because there are no purple people but essentially that same thing we're all looking at that same thing from a different angle so uh, uh someone that follows islam will say i call my brick allah and i look at it from this angle where i have to pray five times a day i have to give my zakat which is like tithing i have to do um ramadan every year and i have to make my pilgrimage to mecca this is the side of the brick I'm looking at. A Christian looks at the brick. I believe in single God, but there's a Holy Spirit, which is the moving agency of God. And there's a son of God, Jesus, who came and died for my sins. This is my side of the brick. And then you go to Hinduism. I've got the universe and the universe. I have gods that are manifestation of the universe, the universe expressing itself to take care of specific needs, such as my health, a specific need against children, a specific need against these things. You'll go then to someone who's on terrestrialism and they'll have exactly the same thing. They're going to be looking at that same brick, but all of the principles are the same. Mm. Expansion, 
divine love, omnipresence, omniscience, omnipotence, wanting the best for us and creating us to express ourselves and to be the opportunity for it to know more of itself expanding outwards. Spirituality, basically, it's like we're getting scared of using the word God, but it's basically the, it's basically the same thing. And I personally, I like to just allow people to be respected for the beliefs that they have. As long as someone's being a good person um, yeah. and not harming others and wants to add to the world, I don't really care who you worship, what you do, what you believe. I think it's more important to be a good a good human. Mm, yeah, <laughs> really. right on. Absolutely. And that's, yeah. and that's what I believe. Hey there. I can see you. That's right. I can see you. I can feel your energy. Whoa, that's a strong energy, man. Hey, but in all seriousness though, guys, I'm bringing multiple options to the table. That's right, multiple options. And if you're on one of these, you're going to see a card in the top right to watch the full episode of this clip. But if you're on one of these guys, a laptop or a PC or something of the kind, then you're going to see a thumbnail that's going to come up right about now. So why don't you watch the full episode? Click on that. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Tell your friends and family. And lastly, sending you peace and strength. Let's go.